I am bored. And that's weird. Because I always thought that only boring people get bored. But then again, I have been rather bored lately at all. Should have been doing things and not been doing things. Been working on many different things for poor mouse. But not getting enough done. Oop. <laughs> not been doing a lot of videos either, just... I guess I was intensely playing some games, that was kind of fun. Playing the setless, we'll probably do some kind of video on that. Funny series. So I wanted to talk about being eloquent, and me being eloquent mostly, which apparently I am not. I was told by several people, or, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a, a thin-skinned fool who would just be concerned by this. I'm just open to criticism, that's all. You don't need to tell me that I'm I'm great or or amazing and I should keep it up. I, I will keep it up anyways. <laughs> it's just that I want to get as good as possible at making YouTube videos and so I want to be as eloquent as possible. I used to, well, you know I started out with just making shitty Let's Plays. I still make those, but now they're on my other channel, so... Because they, they didn't really generate a lot of views or anything, so... Just short videos, that's where the... That's where the audience retention is at here. On this channel, it seems. So I have to be concise, and I... And I like this idea of making videos that have something to say, and... Say it in a short time, and make a good point. Which is not quite this video because this video is just me talking about making videos brilliant I know it's so meta <laughs> so I started scripting my videos which I thought went well for a while but then listening back to those videos I had a terrible presentation and then at one point I made a video that I didn't script and I was just m rambling about and apparently that was better than my scripted videos because apparently I didn't Consider the fact that I'm a completely dyslexic autistic idiot who can't read lines of text that I've written down. I can't read them out loud without just being a, a robot who's bad at reading. I guess robots would be good at reading. They'd be bad at pronunciation, but they'd be good at, at saying things one after another in a good sequence as they're written out, <laughs> which is the exact opposite of me. I, I always talk. And then I, I finished talking, but I haven't finished reading yet what's the next thing that I should be talking or saying. So I have this problem where I just make these gaps and I get lost and I look. This is not scripted, by the way. This is just me talking. And I see that I have the same issues, but probably not as bad as when I lose where I was in the script and then I have to look up the script and I have to pass I have to pause halfway through the sentence. Like in that Bethesda video, you, you saw I, I, I started a sentence with while and then I, I didn't end it. it. It was just a single sentence and not two sentences connected by a while. And it was just stupid. <laughs> I'm just awful at, at sentence structure when it's written down or... Hmm. Maybe I'm just generally bad at sentence structure, even though I think right now I'm doing all right. And this is not so bad because I don't get interrupted by my thoughts being slowed and my speech as much as they, I would be if I was, in fact, reading it. Even though I am still somewhat hap, that is still somewhat happening. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm talking faster than I'm thinking when I'm talking, <laughs> and then I run out of things that I was talking about, and then I make a pause that's inadequate, inadequately timed. I don't have to correct myself, I'm terrible at that. <laughs> and it's certainly good that I'm recording this, because otherwise I would never have realized how bad I was at that. And this is a, another part of the things I was going to talk about, which is the fact that I was a shy nerd and I, I never wanted to do any kind of eloquence when I was in school. Whenever it was my turn to speak, I would just fail utterly. Possibly even deliberately, because I just couldn't 
imagine the idea of speaking in front of the class. So whenever I had an assignment where I had to speak, I would just fuck it up and then eventually they, they would stop making me speak in front of everyone. Like, until the last year where I was just... I, I don't know, how do I, I... I guess I guess tests are half the battle and I, I did alright on the test so I didn't fail any classes except for math, ironically, which I just was able to repeat. Because that was just the one thing I didn't learn because I thought math I'm already fine at so I didn't bother learning for the final exam of my math <laughs> and then I failed at it. Which I guess was just typical for me to have this hubris and then to fail at it. But then again I only started learning for the final exams the, the, the three days before them and thus I was completely unprepared to learn for all of them. I, I learned for most of them, just not for math, apparently, because I thought I was aces at math already. How did I even... The final exams were actually in person. I, I guess I, I was lucky that I did all right. I guess I'm all right in tests. I'm just not good at, at talking without being asked a question. If it's interview-based, I guess I can make something happen if I have time to think about what I'm going to say while the other guy's talking. I guess that's less awkward for me. Which is what I did originally in these YouTube videos too. I had Tom and he was just always talking. And he had this respect for me so he, he thought I was alright even though I, I was pretty bad at keeping a conversation alive. Even though I guess it's just this chemistry I have with him that I was able to keep the conversations going with him. I hope he's gonna be around for more videos because he's really fun to talk to. <laughs> Tom. I wonder if I bothered uploading that video yet. I have so many videos that I made and I never finished editing or uploading. Maybe because they're not good enough or most likely because they're actually good and I just didn't... I thought I... I thought... Hmm, I don't know, it's just generally... The fear of success, maybe. Or the fear of failure. Or is it even worthwhile to upload videos? Apparently I, I lose subscribers when I make a video, but I slowly gain subscribers over time. So if I just made a video a, a, a week, I'd probably be, I'd be golden. If you look at Grade A Under A, he has like 80 videos and he's got so many millions of subs. And he, they're always a rare treat, those videos. <laughs> so that, that's probably why he's so appreciated. If he did them every day, they might not be as impactful. But there's other people I, I like to watch which are much less successful that make daily videos. And they actually have better content, it's just that they're not as wildly successful. <laughs> oh, YouTube. What, a, what an odd situation YouTube has become. <laughs> Well, there's my ramble. I'm not even sure if I, I bothered to take out all the silences and pauses. Normally, when I see really big pauses, it's easy to just delete those because I I can just see them in the in the wave that is the the audio wave of me talking. I, I probably didn't, but I'm sure these these pauses that I make aren't actually that bad, even though people say. People keep complaining about Obama and how, how he makes pauses and everything. But I always like listening to Obama. I think it's perfectly fine to, to make a pause every once in a while. But maybe if I would just talk... If I talked slower, then I would pause. But would that be better or worse? Hmm. So many things to consider. But you loyal fans, you probably think I'm doing fine. So that's great. Except for Gonzo, who apparently had a disagreement with my, my bitchy place of Orient, a blind forest. <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah, I, I just can't stand artsy games. I wonder if I should make a video about that. Or if people just hate me more for that. I just like gameplay and not artsiness. Uh. Well, that was a great ramble I did there. I, I wonder if I bothered putting some footage in the background. I already know there's no jokes in it or anything. 
So I don't even know if, if it was worthwhile watching it at all. You probably already know about all these things if you're familiar with the procrastinators. Even though I'm operating at a much less professional level from them. Despite their, their name, procrastinators. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty much the best content creators on YouTube somehow. And completely underrated. Maybe it's just me and my my edgy sense of humor that, that likes them. Hmm. <laughs> I have this concept where I will be creating reviews of YouTube channels. I, I wonder if I'm ever going to bother do following through with it, because I, I really like the idea. Of, of doing that because I would be able to to talk I would be able to do an analy analysis of things but it's not one of the things that already gets analyzed to death such as movies or series or games it would be YouTube channels and that would be perfect because the audience of YouTube already watches YouTube channels so they would know about what I'm talking about in cases, not in all cases, but in, in most cases, or they would appreciate my recommendation of a channel. Uh, I guess that would be, I think it would be a really good concept, but I'm not sure if I'm good enough at making it. I should do it though. I should make YouTube reviews of YouTubers. <laughs> be brilliant. The, fo the final the ultimate at ridiculum of analysis videos, yet however beautiful because analysis videos are inherently great. I really enjoy analysis videos. I, I suppose my audience isn't much for them, however. Mostly they're just fans of Isaac and they, they, they may tolerate my videos, but they, they're not massively into the idea of Whatever nonsense I talk about usually. <laughs> oh god, if I keep make this video any longer, they'll think it's a let's play. Alright, subscribe and comment if you have any... But comment, just you'll think of something to tell me. I'm not going to have to ask you something to comment about. Just, just tell me what you think. It doesn't even have to be related. Bye.